Hello everyone and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where our trip here to the Tokyo Disney Resort continues. Tonight we're staying here at the Toy Story Hotel. This hotel is amazing. When you're huge Toy Story fans like us, this is incredible. We're going to take you for a full tour around at the hotel, starting off here in our amazing room. I've got to say, this is one of the best themed rooms I've ever stayed in. And we'll make our way downstairs, have a look in the lobby area. Tomorrow morning we're going to have breakfast in the Lotso Cafe that they've got here. And also we'll check out all the theming and different features of this hotel. Now I did want to mention that I booked a vacation package and with that you get quite a lot included, don't you? Yeah, there is so much included. You get your park tickets, you get popcorn, you get free drinks and you also get a free free goodies as well. Oh, so it's fantastic. We'll show you them goodies in just a moment. The main reason why we booked a vacation package was because Fantasy Springs opened just last week, the new area in Tokyo Disney Sea. And of course, check out that vlog from yesterday on the channel if you haven't already seen it. And uh, we wanted to book this package because it included everything that you saw that we got there um, in terms of getting on the rides really fast, guaranteed access to the land, and it's definitely worth it for that reason. Uh, we're gonna start off here now in our hotel room. Let's give you a tour around. What is round up? Hey, I love it. Look at this, literally. We're staying in Andy's room tonight. This is so cute. Like we walked in and we was like, this is so lovely. Oh, it's amazing. Like look at the stars up there on all the curtains as well. Like and oh. the, the wallpaper, like it's just incredible, isn't it? This is like a Toy Stories fan, like biggest dream. Like just to stay in here and see oh. it is amazing. You got this Buzz Lightyear poster just behind you over there as well, which is fantastic. Yeah, these lights are quite quirky. They like uh, flip out, there you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They'll be different, you push it on the side. But yeah, this is amazing. You got a nice uh, drawing that Andy's done over there as well of Woody and Buzz, so all the cool. clouds. And yeah, it's literally Andy's bed. Like, I think it's incredible what they've done in here. And we turn it this way and you got the sketch screen as well. Like how awesome is that? The Pixar style lamp, the little touches, isn't it? Oh, it's like, brilliant. This is amazing. Like, oh, here at the Tokyo Disney Resort, yeah, this is awesome, like, obviously how yeah, you've got all these. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'd be cool if you turn the telly on like that. Yeah. Then you've got all the nice features around here too. Got a little uh, watch just here with Mickey Mouse on, just there as well. And just like across here, you got like all the different colours for the carrot hangers, which is amazing. Get, like Buzz Lightyear style pyjamas. We've seen people walking around the hotel in these, so I'm definitely going to put these on later. Oh, why not? Like they're in there, so, so you may sweet. as well uh, have those. You can't take them with them. Obviously, no. you can't take them with you, but so you can wear them around the hotel. <laughs> big desk area just over here and as you mentioned we're staying as part of the vacation package but we'll show you that in a bit more detail and talk um, even more about that for you you got your coffee making facilities there and there's a lot of storage all around here yeah you've got a fridge in this one as well quite a big fridge that's good to see it's good there is a shop downstairs as well so we'll show you that um yeah you got like all these drawers and oh the funny on there's a safe in that one i like how these are like on a, a corner which is quite cool. PJs for us to wear. Little stool down there. Hey, love Just it. Get the little postcards as well. I have to take these home with us. Everything about this hotel is really well <laughs> so themed. We thought we'd just got to start off here in the room, you know. Who's that on the wall just over there? Um. Hey! <laughs> oh, I love it. Like, it's so nice. I think the telly's one of my favourites, though. That is awesome. I like the Mickey Mouse watch. The yeah, wall. that's great. Like, just all the features in here. Slippers. Look at these slippers down there. They've got Woody on. They're branded, which is very nice. And you've got some storage just over here. We haven't unpacked yet. We're that excited just to film this and show you it all. Uh, Rex on the wall was there as well. And even things like the uh, Do Not Disturb and the Emergency Exit sign are all themed in with this hotel as well. And then here's the uh, bathroom just over here. How nice is this? Hey. I don't know where the light is to go oh, to the toilet. Is, is, is that one? Oh, it's there we go. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I like how you got like all the uh, Pixar balls on there. I think they're the Pixar balls or there's bubbles. Like bubbles. Maybe they're just bubbles. I thought at first, but yeah, it's not got the little uh, thing on it, does mm. it? But uh, yeah, this is nice. Uh, big jigsaw puzzle. And then you know me, I love branded toiletries. I think it sets it apart, especially when they're uh, specific for each like, hotel. Mm -hmm. uh, that's lovely. You don't get the toothpaste. We've just uh, purchased We're that downstairs. Yeah, we need some more toothpaste. Um, so we've managed to get that. There's a little stool down there as well. And here's the toilet. I love these when the, literally the toilet is separate. Uh, it's so much better when it's like this. And of course we've got the fancy toilets. Love We're here that. in Japan. After all, you get a full hot panel 
on the side just over there. I've only just realised what this is for. So you put your washing in and take it to the laundry room because there was some down in the laundry right. room. We've done all of our washing. So you put your washing in there so you can bring it back in there. Yeah. So I'll definitely be doing that later because all of our washing is down there at the moment. Yeah, so literally everything's being done. Everything. Which is fantastic. Like, you know, nearly the midpoint of the trip. So it's ideal for us, really. We've got the bathroom. Look at that. I mean, can you call that a bath? I don't yeah. really know. But look at that. you got weeds just on there. Oh, I legend. Oh, I love Wheezy, that's very nice. Even the features in here. And you've got your shower in here. It's more like a wet room, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not a huge fan no. of wet rooms, I'll be honest, but um, yeah, this looks stunning. Like, I'll certainly give it a go. We've only got one night here uh, because of the vacation package. We booked it with Fantasy Springs. You get two days uh, park access. They do a three day one as well. Uh, well, this works out the best option um, for mm. us. But yeah, this is lovely. Very impressed. So cute. Very impressed with all the theming and the details. And this is just the start of it in the room. Wait until you see around the rest of the hotel. Of course, you've got free Wi-Fi in here too. Yeah, this is just amazing. This is probably my favorite angle, actually. Just over here, like looking out over it all. It's beautiful. All right, look at this. It's so <laughs> just so well themed. Everything, one of the best, if not the best themed room I I've ever been in. Agree. It's a good size as well. Obviously, it's not as big as where we've been staying um, next door, but you know what? Like for a theme park like hotel Andy's room, yeah, we're literally in Andy's bedroom. Like it's amazing. Now it's a night when we're filming this part of the video, but you can look out and see Tokyo all lit up at night over there as well, and Tokyo Bay. Now look at all this that we've got as part of the vacation package. I collected these from the shop downstairs. But firstly, this morning, uh, we came straight to the hotel and checked in. And that's where they gave us this nice little folder with all of our itinerary and information on. The park tickets were in there, um, the fast track vouchers for in the park, uh, the vouchers for all of this. Like, I thought that was really well organized. Everything printed off, all your itinerary. And it's all like paper tickets as well, which I love. I love paper tickets. Sometimes with Disney, it's gone very digital now and everything's all on your phone so to actually have a paper ticket is really good it's like the old days i love that i really do like you know you know you have like my disney experience app and everything paper ticket you know exactly what you're doing you can just go and scan it as you go oh i think that's brilliant and uh, we have covered this in the vlogs but i'll mention it again we got to book three um fast tracks over in tokyo disneyland for our first day two for our second day in disney sea and then obviously all the access to fantasy springs that you've seen in that vlog as well which of course is brilliant and a huge part of it and then we've got these gifts so what you do is you get some vouchers and you get to choose what gifts that you want so we chose the blanket which I absolutely love and we also chose the bag and then we was given these separately the other things you could choose from there was like a little Mickey Mouse toy but we thought this would be the nicest one so we got these you might be thinking you've backpacked this shirt where are you gonna put it all that's a very good we question. We will find space. <laughs> we will find space. Yeah, we will. A lot of it is bags and stuff. Like, we'll be fine. Like, you I'll can put it on my coat it. if I need to. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Well, you can do that. Wrong with that? Oh, my coat. Well, yeah, this is lovely. We've also got breakfast tomorrow, which is going to be very nice. Uh, that's included. And in terms of the location of this hotel, we'll show you out the front shortly. Um, but you're right by the resort monorail line. Literally, you walk straight out, don't you? So close, which is really convenient. In fact, when we came out of the park tonight, within ten minutes, we'd exited the park, got on the monorail, and we we're here at the hotel. Hotel. Like, I love how close everything is. What a resort this is. There we go, that's the room. Yeah, and the, the Mickey watch is incredible, isn't it? Over at the side. Very nice. You get all your information on there, your Wi Fi access. Check out here, it's actually 12 o'clock, uh, which is amazing. But uh, obviously, you can use that luggage service as well. So, we got here straight away this morning. We moved from the hotel next door. We came here at like 8 o'clock, checked in. We had the room key and everything, and we put our luggage into storage, didn't we? Yeah, so, we put the luggage into storage. But they actually bought all of our bags up. We went to go and pick them up tonight, and then she was like, I've already put them in your room. Excellent service. Amazing. Like, really uh, little touches like that fantastic but uh, anyway we're gonna make our way outside and we'll have a look down the corridor the lobby area uh, there's a shop downstairs as well and we'll show you all the big theming pieces and here we are then out in the corridor oh look at this like all the wall print design that is amazing it's so detailed isn't it all the little bits on there and even like the uh, room numbers as well like, they're not tiny they've got like the big room numbers which is awesome I love that and all the carpet, the footprints down here. Oh, it's just so colorful. Look at this. Mm. Yeah, we're up here on the seventh floor. I think there's 11 in total. Obviously some of the rooms on the other side would look out towards the parks as well. 
Now, in terms of laundry, that's on level three, but it's ideal because the elevators are literally right here and it's literally a few floors below Which us. Is brilliant, so we're going to go get that mm. and put it into dry. Ideal. There we go. I'll show you the laundry area. Oh. This is so nice. And just around the corner, we've got Woody's Roundup. <laughs> oh, how amazing. Mm. Like a big mirror photo opportunity. Like, that's great. I love that. And all this area is very well themed as well. There's Woody and Bullseye. <laughs> oh, the phone just there as well. Even that's branded in. And there's Stinky Pete on the wall. Love him. Hey, just inside the lift, and you've even got Bullseye and Woody just on there as well. <laughs> right, let's go to the laundry room. So we're in the laundry room now. So a wash worked out at like £1.50, which is great. So what I've done with the dryer is it's in 15 minute cycles. So I've put it on for 75 minutes because the wash is quite low power. Worth it, and you have to pay twice, do you, for the washer and the dryer? Yeah, so it's, it was, what was it now? So it was 300 for the washer, and then it's 100 for 15 minutes on the dryer. Oh, not too bad, really, that. Bad Washing's in, and they've got loads in here, like, they've got, like, what, 10 all the way across. Washing's in, so it's dry now for 75 minutes, so we'll carry on with that little tour. That's it, time, time, is time is on. It's ideal for us tonight, doing the tour around, isn't it? Yes, like, and then I can go and get the washer, I'll have my pyjamas on there. Oh, lovely, <laughs> yeah, we'll uh, get them on in the room, and then of course in the morning we're going to go for breakfast as well, which we've got booked downstairs. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the breakfast is going to be like, but we'll go and uh, see the restaurant in there, it's all Lotso themed. Mm -hmm. Lotso hugging bird. So we're down here now in the lobby to have a little walk around and show you the amazing theme. Really busy in here tonight, everybody coming back from the park. Look at the details of this though. Uh, it's amazing in here. Look at all the crayons that are all wrapped in elastic bands. That's cool. All the details up here as well. You can even watch Toy Story over there. Oh, that's amazing. All the jigsaw pieces on the floor. Uh, this is incredible. Alien up there. It's like a big scale electrics just over there. So this is, as soon as you walk into the hotel, this is what you're greeted with. Elevators over there. Guest services off to the right, so that's the luggage storage. Uh, and literally they have so many staff on there as well. Like you think, oh, there's a big queue. Uh, it like takes like a minute. Like they've got so many staff, it's so efficient. Uh, this is just beautiful in here with the theme in. I think that leads outside, so we'll have a little look out there. And there's the front desk, Rex just behind. You've got a friend in me. Oh, Buzz Lightyear over on this side. I wonder if the corridors are different then on this side of the hotel. Also worth pointing out that the hotel is for hotel guests only. You can't actually get anywhere near it without staying here, which keeps it exclusive. They have got a shop over here as well. I think it's just closed actually. 8 a.m. till 9.30, so we will have a little look in there in the morning and show you that. <laughs> Should we uh, go have a look out the front of the hotel first and then we'll have a little look in the courtyard area and show you that. Oh, look at how the hotel's lit up at night as well and the moon just over there. There's Jesse and this is out the front. So yeah, you can't come like anywhere up to this area. It keeps you very exclusive, doesn't it, unless yeah, you stay in. Like yeah, it is lovely. Oh. I think because obviously, you know, this park gets so busy, the whole resort does, uh, they want it to just be exclusive for people staying here, which I can completely understand. But there's a lot of theming down here. This is like the big um, like garden play area out the front. Jesse's Critter Cottage just up there. You've got the Howdy in the middle on that ruler, all the blocks. And there's the hotel itself as well. So obviously we're facing on the right hand side, I think. But if you're in the rooms on this way, you're going to get a view looking out towards the park. Yeah, it's very nicely lit up at night and you can see all the blue and the clouds on there. Very nicely done. And even like the road here as well. <laughs> it's like everything's in miniature, isn't it? Now in terms of the decor and the lighting around here, very similar to the Toy Story land in the parks. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and this is where you walk down to the parking if you are driving here and the Disney Resort line Bayside Station. And the station is literally less than a five minute walk from here. Yeah, this is Slinky Dog Park. This is so cute, like lots of photo opportunities all the way around, very atmospheric lighting, very similar, like I say, to the feel of walking around uh, like Toy Story Land in the Disney parks. I but, feel miniature. I know, <laughs> but it's just exclusive for hotel guests. Aww. Slinky Dog dashed through the park, a big storybook. 
I love the big lights. <laughs> They're my favourite, they are. There's Jesse. <laughs> What's really cool is as well, like that's the garage for the parking lot. It says RC Racer on there. Like it's all RC themed. And there he is, RC on the top. Yeah, this is fantastic. So nice. You know, like all the floor lights up as well. Beautiful. And there's Jesse, just over there. <laughs> Oh, how awesome is this seaman? And there's a look back towards the hotel. All the atmospheric lighting, oh, it's great round here. Even better at night. We thought we'd show you it tonight here because you've got all the atmospheric lighting around, but we'll also have a little look at this in the daytime when we check out tomorrow because there's a lovely sign actually just around the corner. And that's the hotel where we stayed in for the past two nights, right next door. So yeah, this whole area, you've got the uh, official Disney hotels, such as this, and then you've also got like the partner hotels that are all around this area in Tokyo Bay as well. Oh, there's Zerg up there, Charlotte. <laughs> Evil Emperor Zerg. And you've got the big Pixar ball just down here, so we'll have a little look at that. Yeah, I like how it's the RC racer garage. <laughs> That's very cool. Look at this, got some dominoes down here. Does that mean pizzas? <laughs> There we go, so this is literally where they check that you are staying here. There we go, there's the big Pixar ball. What a photo op, love that. The dominoes are actually uh, seats next door, it's a bench. <laughs> That's amazing. These are all Slinky's bones just down here, I think, as well. <laughs> Slinky Dog Park. These giant cars. They're massive. Bet you can't pick them up, Charlotte, no. for a game of cars. <laughs> oh. It's amazing. It's all the floor as well. Big Toy Story fans. Like one of our favourite ever movies, Toy Story. Like we love them all, don't I we? I love it. The characters are so lovable, but we need to find Rex. He's going to be here somewhere. You reckon? And balls up. Well, he's not out the front here, is he? Maybe he's in that little courtyard area okay. at the back. There's Buzz Lightyear, Star Command, Infinity. and Beyond. <laughs> Oh, all the details, yeah, I thought I've got to show you this out the front. I think it's nice how they did all this because they could have easily, you know, not done this and just had it as a normal walkway, but this really makes it how you've got the full park and it's, yeah, it's just lovely, right at the front of the hotel. And yeah, that path leads straight down to the monorail, what? which takes you to the park. It's like his feet. Ah, that's cool, like his walks down here. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's so nice. What a building, very colorful. I think Toy Story has some of the best music as well. There's Mr. Pricklepants just over there. We'll head down that way shortly, but I think first we're going to go out here because we can see the aliens. How do we get outside? Oh, around to the right. I was looking for a door there. I was like, where did we go? <laughs> I can see you, buddy. May as well see him here. There we are, Mr. Pricklepants. That's a good one when he's. Hammerlots. Uh, hammer <laughs> Rampunzel. <laughs> Let's go and have a look outside. Toy Friends Square, this is. More photo opportunities, exclusive if you're staying at this hotel. Ooh. Oh, this is nice. I like how he's there claw. on the claw. Oh, hands on there. Is he? Whereabouts? Yeah, there he is. Also known as oh. evil Dr. Pop. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, that's great. I love this. He's like picking them up. <laughs> We're eternally grateful. I love how you can get lots of different angles on these photo opportunities as well. Comment down below your favourite Toy Story movie. What would you say? To be honest, I really enjoyed Toy Story 3 with Lotso. Yeah. I think that was my favourite. Yeah, I mean, they're all amazing, aren't they? they? Are. But Toy yeah, I, I think Toy Story 3 was the best. We've got Toy Story 5 coming soon. I'll be at the cinema for that. There's we will. Easy. Not many films that are worth going to the cinema for, but we will definitely be going for that. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow, like this whole area. Oh, this is amazing. What an area, it's all lit up as well. Oh, this is incredible. Oh, hey, peep. Oh, this is so nice. There he is. You got a friend in me. Oh, I'm up on the Pixar ball. He's actually raised up. Oh, there he is. 
a bit of a windy wheezy tonight, I say. Bullseye, oh. This is lovely. How nice is this? There's Mr. Pricklepants. Hey. Can you see rags anywhere? No. No, it's just on there, but it's not actually. Bullseye's not around either. Oh. Very nice, we though, have isn't got it? The barrel for the monkeys. Yeah, I like how you got that here. <laughs> Very atmospheric. What's cool is obviously all these rooms looking this way. Look into all this as well. And the eyes, the monkeys. No, oh, this is stunning. It's them little Disney touches and details that really make it like all the flooring. It's just, it's like an extension, isn't it, of Toy Story Land from the parks, you know, just coming into here. And that's looking out towards Tokyo Bay as well. Maybe our room looks this way. No, it does look out to the right. Just look out to the right. So cute. Yeah, it's nice, this is. All the details. Yeah, I knew it was going to be well themed, but I'd not really seen loads from it, you know, so it's so nice just to come and be surprised and explore it all. There's Zerg's box Can you just go there. In the box? I don't know. <laughs> Another Woody? Emperor Zerg. No, it's just him on the box. There he is, there's all his skills that he's got. I had one of them when I was a kid. Well, you actually had Zerg. Yeah, I did, yeah, he was brilliant. Yeah, yeah. what yeah. did he do? Well, he just, he didn't really do anything, he just stood there. Did he talk and everything? No, light, it was light just and a stuff? plain action figure. A plain action figure. I did have one, I can remember having one, he was brilliant. There you go, memories. <laughs> Comment down below if you have one of them. <laughs> Is it a plain action figure? <laughs> there you go, fantastic. <laughs> I think you got given the cheap one. <laughs> <laughs> you have the cheap one there, I think. Like my buzz and Woody did noises and things. Yeah, you pull the string on uh, Woody's back. Yeah, yeah, I had that one, but with Zerg. There's a snake in my boot. Zerg didn't do anything. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is fantastic out here. I really like it. Let's take a few photos. Oh, that's fantastic out there. What an area to have a walk around. Like, I really like it. This hotel doesn't have a swimming pool, as far as I'm aware. I think if it did, it would be in that area. To be honest though, um, it's quite nice and refreshing to not have a pool sometimes and have all the photo ops like that. I love the photo ops. Yeah, it's very good. Like, obviously, if there was a pool there, they wouldn't have been able to have all those. They're not as good anyway, you know, so that's fantastic. See, we mentioned that they have got a gift shop in here. It's closed this evening now, but we'll have a look in there in the morning when it opens. They have got like a little supermarket though, just around here as well. So we'll just uh, show you that there. And that's open until midnight, so that's really good. Like when you come back off the parks, and they're open until nine at the moment, but when you come back, that's very handy. That's nice on the wall. That's like a model of what we've just seen, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, like outside. Like a, a drawing of it all. So this is where we're going for breakfast in the morning. Of course, you can have dinner here as well. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, we're booked in there tomorrow at 7.50, I think for the Lotso Garden Cafe. We belong together. We belong together. <laughs> and here's the little supermarket. It's open 6 a.m. until midnight. Well, it's quite a big shop that they've got here, like a mini supermarket. You can pick up quite a lot of different snacks in here if you want to for an evening, or you could take some of these into the park if you wanted to as well. Get some sandwiches just up there. Find a few other bits. Gummy Mickey Mouse there. <laughs> All these little snacks that you can get. Oh, <laughs> chocolate mint. Baskin mints. Robins, but the, like chocolate mint. Oh, I bet they're nice. Yeah, I bet they are. Some mints and other things just here. Haribos. Da -da -da. Selection of ice creams down here. Oh, there we go. You can get all your bottles as well. You can get beers just over there if you want to. Fizzy drinks. Look at them mini cokes. <laughs> and everything's just so cheap here as well. Oh, look at these as well. Mints. They're like rhinestones on there. Wow. They're nice. And you got a few pastries, and a few other bits that they sell in here as well. Umbrellas in here, ponchos, USB chargers and adapters, that's very handy. And look at all this as well. 
this old um, joggers in here. Look at that, uh, if you get your pants. <laughs> and all these accessories, toiletries and things like in little nail scissors, like, oh, very good. And here we are, back up on level seven. Oh, what a place to stay, like, it's amazing here. I've not really seen much about it, it's only been out for a couple of years. So it is, it's fantastic. Can we make our way now back into the room just here? Very impressed with the Toy Story Hotel here at Tokyo Disney Resorts. What a place to stay. Oh, it's so nice. I'm looking forward to a lovely sleep in this room tonight. Yeah, it's just great. Like, literally, in Andy's room, like, all the decor around, things like the big watch, all the fair opportunities outside, it is brilliant here. And uh, we're going to get some sleep, have a bit of a chill out tonight, and then in the morning, we're going to take you all for breakfast in the Lotso Cafe. Oh, I love Lotso, so I'm looking forward to seeing all the details on the wall in there. I don't know what the breakfast is going to be like, but you know what? We'll go and see uh, what there is on offer and show you the options for if you are going to be staying here. We'll have a look in the shop as well, see some of the hotel in the daytime, and then of course we'll wrap up the vlog. But say uh, it's good night and we'll see you all in the morning. Good morning from the Toy Story Hotel. Had a really nice sleep there. Very rested up and ready for another day here at Tokyo Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic, right? We're going down for breakfast now. Like we said, we don't know what there is on a Japanese breakfast because we've never had one before. So. We're going yeah, I'm not too sure. I don't think you're going to get a, a, a fried breakfast. No, I don't know. I just need some bacon, <laughs> to be honest, but I don't think I'm going to be getting that. But that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, we are in, in Japan after all. I'm sure there's going to be some, like, lots of themed stuff in there, surely. Yeah, I reckon. We'll go and see what there yeah. is. I mean, I'd be, if I could get some fruit or something, I'd be happy. But Bananas. Yeah, we don't know what, what we can expect from a Japanese breakfast. Never had one. But lots of could be. A <laughs> <laughs> I think normally breakfast isn't included, and you can just pay for it on the screen, can't you, downstairs? Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so like, tickets to the yeah, you can buy like a ticket for breakfast downstairs. So normally we wouldn't do that, um, but it's included in the package. So let's go. Hey, here we are inside, and there's lots of yeah. hugging bear. He's holding a basket of strawberries. If I get some strawberries, I'll be happy. But let's uh, go and see what there is in here. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Look how happy lots of is. Oh, very nice. Basically, you can just pick your own table, and they give you one of these occupied signs. Maybe go over at the side over there, maybe. There you go, quite nice steaming all on the walls. Let's go and have a look what there is. Oh, look at all of this here. Strawberry melon bread. Oh, some of this stuff looks very nice. Whipped cream, strawberry Danish, just that. Oh, lovely. Oh, Cheese bread. Got some cereals over here, some milk. Oh, yes. Look at that, lots of strawberry roll cake just over there. Looks quite nice. And you can get a cold meat and olive salad, smoked salmon and avocado salad, potato salad. Look at the theme in though. Noodles just down here. You even get pasta. Chicken with Japanese leek. Yeah, look at this. You actually get pasta for breakfast. This pasta meal. Ooh, strawberry and banana bread pudding with lots of on top. Chicken nuggets on the breakfast. <laughs> and also, potato croquettes just there. Mango pudding, orange jelly. They've got a lot of choice in here. A lot of choice. Then you get all your juices over here as well. You can have a Coke, Sprite, ice dispenser over there. And then your hot drinks here too. And there we go, we just had our breakfast at the Lotso Garden Cafe. Didn't know if there'd be anything that we'd eat in there. So to be honest, I'm quite happy that I've had a few bits. And pancakes were very nice, weren't they? Happy Lotso, but those pancakes were really good. Yeah, there was quite a good uh, variety in there. Uh, you could have like chicken nuggets and stuff if you wanted to. I didn't want that at this time of morning, but still, like, at least they've got that there. Uh, I did try like the Lotso cake, I had some of that strawberry bread, that was very nice. And uh, yeah, a few other bits as well. I had some cereal, which was fantastic. Would have liked some fruit, but that's the thing, it's just seeing breakfast in different countries. Um, yeah, you normally just buy your tickets just over here. 
There we go. It's quite funny, isn't it? It does seem like a ticket machine for breakfast, but yeah, I think you can buy like lunch and an evening meal on there as well. The Toy Story Hotel. And the beauty is, if you love Toy Story and you've enjoyed seeing this, well, we're going to see another one right at the end of the trip because we're staying at the Shanghai Disneyland Toy Story Hotel as well. Ooh, let's go and have a look in Gift Planet. She's off. <laughs> So shop open hours are 8 through until 9.30. I love it Toy Story. What I love is you've got the Toy Story Hotel branded merchandise here. That's very nice. I've also got Lotso. I think that would have made the breakfast if Lotso had come out I'm in there. I'm really waiting for him to come out. I'd love to have a colour from Lotso. Would have been nice to see him. He is a bit of a nasty bear though, isn't he? We love this. Literally, we keep seeing this everywhere that we go, and I really want spot. it. Like, literally, I really want it. We like both of these hats. Oh, they are so nice. They got some beautiful shirts as they well. They are lovely. In the day two vlogs on both the parks, we're going to be having a good look at the merchandise. Little green dumplings. I had some of that. Oh, lovely. Get all your snacks down here as well. Doing like biscuit form. Yeah, biscuits. Drinks holder just there, 1,600 yen. Cups just here. <laughs> the price on there, 800. So we worked out that a thousand yen is about five quid. So yeah, like less than a fiver for those. Merchandise, like again, is really cheap compared to other Disney parks. Hello. Not these burgers again. <laughs> Burgers. These are all the different blankets <laughs> that people one? sit on. Resort cruiser. And the parades, people have those and sit down. Baymax is here. Baymax sandwiches. Hey. <laughs> He's big, but there's a bigger one that we've seen in the park. That is massive. Buzz Lightyear monorail. Look at this. <laughs> the Baymax ride vehicles from the ride. Fantastic. Some t-shirts. I love this t-shirt idea. I keep seeing this everywhere as well. That. I really like it. I might end up getting that yet. I don't think it's too jazzy, you know, like, definitely wear that at other Disney parks. What about these pants? Oh yeah, Mr. Potato Head on my pants. That's brilliant. Lovely. This is quite nice. Zip-up jacket. On the back. Slow Story Hotel. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, I like that. It's that's really nice. nice. All your stationery just over here. All your pens that you can get. Oh look, you can get a pen of the balloons. <laughs> oh, I love that. Merchandise is incredible. We get all these. <laughs> Look at the popcorn on there. Luckily though, we have got the popcorn pickers. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the shop. We're just going to go up in the lift on this side because I'm curious to see if the corridors are Buzz Lightyear themed on this side because it is down here. So I thought we'd go and have a little look. Obviously, we have Bullseye in the box, don't we, on our side? And it is! Oh, it was definitely worth having a look. Space Ranger! Oh, look at all this! Fantastic! <laughs> I love how the mirrors are different on either side. It's so cool, this is. Oh, it's amazing. Like, what a hotel. It's definitely one of the best themed hotels we've ever stayed in. Like, the best themed room I've, I've stayed in anywhere, that is. Just because I think because we love Toy Story as well. Like, when you love, when you're part of something, like, you, you really embrace it, then it's great. Aww. Chat back, alien. <laughs> and the corridors probably look the same down here, do they? Do. I reckon. What's that in there? Ice machine. Ah, ice machine. Yeah, corridors the same. <laughs> Worth having a look though. Lovely. Yeah, very nice. Buzz Lightyear. To infinity and, and beyond. beyond. I have landed on the strange planet. <laughs> that's all I know. That's all, that's all you get. <laughs> Just going to head back up to the room there now, pack everything up, and then we'll be bringing the bags back down to that guest services area over there where we can leave them for the day. And here we are then back outside in Slinky Dog Park out the front of the hotel just to show you it in the daytime. And it's beautiful in the daytime, but I think at night it really sets it alive, doesn't it? With all the lights and stuff, it's like really ambient lighting, which is lovely. Yeah, that's the thing like with Disney parks and hotels, like the lighting 
really makes it. But yeah, here's a little look in the daytime. And there's the RC Racer Garage. <laughs> I love that for the parking structure. And just before we wrap up the vlog, I wanted to show you how close the hotel is to the Bayside monorail station. It's literally just across the road and it's right there. And there's one more thing I wanted to show you down here as well. And that's it on the right hand side. And that's this awesome Toy Story Hotel sign. Like that is epic, isn't it? Oh, I love it. The Pixar ball there in the middle. That uh, story just being painted on. And Tokyo Disney Resort there on the left hand side. Like what? An amazing sign, you got all the flowers just out the front here as well. Fantastic that. Well that does bring us to the end of our stay here in the Toy Story Hotel at Tokyo Disney Resort. What a place to stay, I've loved it here. I have to say it has been excellent for any huge Toy Story fans to step. It's like we're in the movie, it was amazing, I've really enjoyed it. You really do feel a part of it, it's a shame we've only had one night here really, could have done more. Uh, but you know what, it is fantastic, I definitely recommend it. Everything from the location right opposite the monorail uh, to the details of the theming throughout. Like the Slinky Dog Park area here, uh, the main courtyard area as well. With all the photo opportunities the whole thing's just really being thought about hasn't they it they have done such a good job with this hotel and there's so many photo opportunities so people can really capture those memories it is the best themed room i've ever stayed in like just for all of the details in there like the watch on the wall and how the tv was on there like just everything was really thought about all the details and uh, i really enjoyed it and at night just strolling around the hotel taking it in it's fantastic supermarkets good in there as well with quite a few different bits and open till late you got the other shop as well for merchandise um, and the Lotso Cafe uh, just in there as well, which does serve uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner as well. But uh, looking forward to seeing the Toy Story Hotel at Shanghai and seeing how different that is. Because we're staying so close together, it'd be nice to compare them both. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm sure it's going to be great, sure but it also will. it does look quite different as well. So I'm excited to see what that is going to be like. We've still got more content to come from our trip here to the Tokyo Disney Resort. So make sure you check it out here on the channel. But from the awesome Toy Story Hotel, that leaves with one final thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. Goodbye.